everybody. My name is Kawana. Um, I'm going to be a freshman at the University of North Texas in the fall. I'm going to be majoring in social work. And today I just kind of want to come and tell you guys my survival tips for orientation. I think everybody is doing, you know, their experience and things like that. But I just wanted to come up with a few generic tips that will help you successfully get through orientation. So, tip number one is definitely, definitely get there early. Because <laughs> when you're the first one in your room, you pick your bed first, you get to set up. And also... I would say you want to get there early so that you can have time during day one to go to the Eagle Student Services building and get your ID made. You don't want to wait until the last day when they tell you you don't want to do that because the line is going to be stretched out super long and you may not have time to do something else that you wanted to do. So go as early as you can. Um. Step number two, well, tip number two would be, I want to say, be open-minded. Don't, now, personally, I'm extremely introverted. And I told myself that I didn't want to let that ruin my experience. So, when you go to orientation, go open-minded. Be ready to meet new people. Be open to the activities, participate in the icebreakers. You want to build as many relationships as you can. Step three, tip three. I keep saying step. Tip three, use the map. They give you a couple of different booklets and things that have a map of campus on there. Use them. Allow them to be your best friend because... You don't want to be lost and end up late to your small group meetings or you want to make sure you get a chance on day three to go visit your residence hall. So make sure that you use the map and be very attentive. And if all else fails, ask someone. Okay, step four, talk to your roommate because personally, I didn't really get a chance to talk to mine and it are situation was a little weird you have to spend two nights with these people so talk to your roommate and tip number five i would say bring extra sheets bring your own sheets bring your own blanket definitely bring your pillow first of all they don't supply a pillow so if you want to sleep on one bring one I almost didn't bring mine because of packing issues, but I'm so glad that I did. And as far as the whole cover situation, bring your own. The time that I did get to speak to my roommate, she was showing me where like she got bit by something and we're not sure if it came from in the dorm, from outside. So just bring your own cover to completely eliminate all of that. Um, My next tip would be Bring snacks because your day starts really early and it ends really late. And me personally, on day three, I decided to sleep in through breakfast. I didn't want to go to curve for breakfast on day three. I valued my extra hour of sleep and it did me so good. Um, My next tip would have to be bring walking shoes bring dress like you about to go work out every day because it's a lot of walking it's very hot outside so i would say dress like you're going to go work out because you are i think i check my steps on my phone so i think during day two i took about thirteen thousand steps so yeah, just be prepared to walk, to exercise, just be ready. Also, I would say get to your dorm 
as early as you can when activities are over because you share your bathroom with three other people so if you want to shower first which i would hope you do go ahead and get there asap um on the subject of the bathroom my next tip would be bring shower shoes you definitely want to bring your shower shoes because again you share the bathroom with three other people that's someone else's bathroom other people have used it before you so bring your shower shoes just to eliminate any possible germs avoid as many germs as you can so bring your shower shoes um um i would also definitely say that my next tip would be make a friend in your orientation group it will definitely benefit you because you want to do a lot of walking and you don't want to be the one in the group that's just like closed off and is by yourself because you don't have anyone to talk to so definitely make a friend in your orientation group and it'll make it very easy on you my next tip pay attention in your advising meetings and make sure you ask all the questions you need for your advisors because you don't want to have classes that you don't need or something that doesn't go towards your major and it's a that could have been avoided like just talk to your advisors to make sure that you get everything you want get everything you need everybody's happy and on the subject of advisors my last tip would definitely be bring your own copies of your transcripts like for example I had dual credit hours so I had a community college transcript and I also had my high school transcript so when I met with my advisor the college hours that she had were not the college hours that I actually obtained so they were missing about nine hours so they missed about three classes on my college transcript which can be a big problem you don't want to repeat a class that you don't have to and the university can only go by what they have so make sure that you bring extra copies of your transcripts make sure that they're sealed official copies so that your advisor can open them and actually see if there's anything that they need to correct and to make sure everything is right and that was actually my last tip so this is going to conclude my video i hope that i said some things that can help anybody that's coming in as UNT 21 that's about to go to orientation or anybody that's thinking about going to the University of North Texas I hope that my tips helped you guys see what you needed for orientation and I hope they make your experience better some of the things I said I wish somebody would have told me so I just hope that my tips helped you guys um personally I didn't want to do my orientation experience because I want to bring something to the channel that nobody else was doing. I want to make sure that my opinions are raw and uncut. And I want to give you guys the best advice I can. So that's why I decided to do tips instead of my experience. So if anybody has any other questions about anything in my video, I'll leave my social media and also comment. And I'll be sure to answer whatever I can. Bye, guys.